Well, hello there. Welcome to Goddess 2.0. Literally, Goddess 2.0. This is the new updated beta. Um, where it is at the moment 49% complete. Uh, as you can see, this is a bit of a reimagining of the game. <laughs> of what it used to be. Um, let's get straight into it here. Uh, here we are treated to a new tutorial. As you can see there, we just got rid of that rock uh, by yeah, simply man. just clicking and holding down the button. Uh, you really don't have to keep clicking like before uh, it's just literally holding down the button so for all those of you and all those people who are like oh my god it's such a click fest man well you can shut up now because you have to click Way, way less than you used to. <laughs> and, I mean, it didn't bother me that, you know, you, you had to click so much before, but now you don't. So, yeah, that's a, it's a good thing. But just to satisfy the, the ones who were complaining before. Anyway. Here we go. This is uh, just waiting for uh, waiting for them to breed, and we collect a new ability. Uh, as you can see, the top left corner here is a little progress bar. That's how many followers you have, and you got this little icon, well, little well, this icon here, which you click on to collect the cards. As we say. This is a sculpting power that allows us to sculpt one layer. Uh, underwater cost is 3 to 15, sand cost is 3, meadow cost is 5 to 20, and mountain cost 20 to 50. Now you can sculpt the entire world. Sculpting high land or deep sea costs more belief. Right. So if we get rid of those. And here we go again. One of the most unique things about Goddess is your ability to sculpt and mold the land. Flattening land will allow you to create more pots for your followers. At first, your ability will be basic. Click Show Me to learn sculpting. Now, if you didn't get to do sculpting before, it, it was one of the things you needed to play the game for quite a while to be able to, uh, to unlock it. There uh, we go. Let's, uh, yeah, make penis shapes out of land. This is basically how you sculpt. It's holding down and dragging. The old... Uh, it's similar to before. But with this one, or the, with this new version of sculpting, you don't need to click as much. Uh, where before you would need to click at least three times just to move some land. This one, you really don't. You move quite a lot more land than you used to, so that's rather nice and handy. Uh, and you just get rid of this. Um, and before as well, you used to be able, when you had like little bits left out, you used to be able to kind of double click to remove it. You can't double click this time. You do have to drag. Which. That's one little quibble that I might have with it. Uh, while it's better that you can remove more land with a drag, it's just that you can't double click. That uh, is. It's a bit of an annoyance, but not, not that much. That's a personal annoyance, really, compared to. Uh, Everything else. Anyway, currently you are only strong enough to move sand, but this is just the start. The more followers believe in you, the more powerful you will become. So sculpt a world that they can thrive in. 
Now try it out in your home world. Remember, you can sculpt the, the land to create new plots for more abodes. And more abodes we shall need. Uh, before I go on, as you can probably see, it looks rather nice. There are new quality settings. You've got a quality mode. Uh, if I click that, as you can see there, we've zoomed right in and the trees are pretty basic. If we click it again, we're still zoomed in, but the trees have changed. If I click again, it zooms out, but we've got basic trees. And then if I click again, the trees go back to, I guess, a higher res than, uh, than before. One thing I will say is the game does run a bit, well, I'll say a bit better, quite a bit better than before. Um, okay, it kind of ran quite well before. But uh, when it came to recording and stuff like that, it did tend to slow down. So, uh, so yeah. Uh, I don't know what they've done to the code or the game or whatever in general, but it runs better. Especially on my laptop as well, anyway. Uh, now it says Sculpt 2 Plots. Act we never noticed that before. Sculpt 2 Plots. I think that's uh, looks basically saying stop two plots to be able to build more abodes. See, one of the annoying things about having to click and drag is you need to click from a certain point so that you can uh, clear the land. If you don't click so close to the edge, then obviously you're not going to be able to uh, clear that land, and that can be a little bit annoying when you're kind of trying to speed up a bit, like I am now, to get things done, you know, get it out of the way, and whatever. Uh, but anyway, let's uh, click people to, not click people, click the abodes for people to come out and uh, while I'm doing that, I will take the opportunity to kind of get a bit ahead of myself there by sculpting this bit because we will need to go up there a little later. Right, let's click to get the new ability and the new ability is Mud Huts. That includes belief and more followers. But as you can see there is a little spanner and a lock which means the card at the moment is locked and uh, it says, this card will unlock a new abode type. Bigger abodes can as more followers and generate more belief. Um, this is where, at the top there, it says, this card needs stickers to activate. <coughs> stickers are what... Oh, here we go. Drag with the middle mouse button. Yay, we've unlocked that now. Now drag the screen to search for a treasure chest. Ah, there it is. And as you can see... They're no longer called um, resource chests, it's a sticker chest. So, if we open that and we unlock a sticker. Growing your population furthers your civilization. This is represented in cards on the timeline. Some cards require additional resources in the form of stickers to power them. You can apply stickers to cards on the timeline. So, like I said, they are technically resources. But 
the resources are now known as stickers. Uh, right, cards with a padlock icon need stickers of a specific type to activate. Which is well said, as you can see there, you've got a little uh, kind of spanner type thing. And it says, place mud brick sticker on mud hood's card. So, you get that sticker, place it on the card, that unlocks the card. Ta -ta! So that's a completed card there, and uh, says you will now see the effects of this completed card when you return to your home world. Grow your population, discover more cards, and collect more stickers to complete them. This will advance your civilization. And so the next card, we need some few more people. Um, And now, because we've got mud hoods, which we need to sculpt this land. Uh, didn't uh, okay. So, like I said, what we do now? What I want to do, actually, because of being a no, well, say being able, be, being right now. Me fail English? That's impossible. What I want to do now is sculpt this. So that's a bit later on. Uh, when it comes to it, I will be able to. Uh, Generate more land and something just made a noise. Ah, is there a... Ah, right, there's a thing under there. But I can't... I need belief to be able to sculpt that, so I can't quite get there yet. Uh, because that is the first layer of grass that... Spooky. <laughs> they still kept the uh, the old spooky. It's when you find a chest or something. Well, yeah, it's like, um, have I found a chest or some kind of hidden ghost thing or something? Stop spooking me out, man. So anyway, let's uh, let's just finish that off. Uh, like I say, try and, I, I will try and get as much done as I can in the time that I've allotted myself to uh, to do this. I did want to do it in just like about 30 minutes, so this is why I'm kind of trying to rush a little bit. While they're doing that, I want to... Uh, There's some more over here and basically make a bit more. Uh, what you can do is, can you do that right? You can do, I think it's like about two layers down of sand. So it's not too bad. I mean, this is free sculpting. Uh, if I try to sculpt that, that dark blue there, see, I can't do that because I need the leaf. So it, it's not bad actually. You, you, you can sculpt, you know, a couple of layers down. So it's, uh, so it, it, it's not as bad as you think when it comes to, you know, it, 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 Although you can sculpt just one layer at a time, as I'm doing, you can actually sculpt, as I say, a few layers, although one at a time. Anyway, let's uh, click to collect that. Builders will repair shrines. Uh, this card will um, inspire your followers to repair ancient monuments across the land.
Um, the game is more about having more followers to be able to do things. Uh, before, oh, as you can, oh, this is what I meant to show you before. As you can see, I can zoom right out uh, with the quality settings. If I click that on the lowest setting, as you can see, it zooms right in there. Um, if I click that, ta -da, you get quite a bit of a difference. You know, you get to see a lot more, um, a lot more area. Which is good because when you've got lots of followers and lots of uh, abodes and all that stuff, you do need to see a lot more of the game. So that's a nice balance here. Uh, and the fact that you can control the quality like that, then, um, you know, that's. Uh, that basically ups the game real. I think what it is that, that I mean, they've obviously like collected information and data from the people that are playing the game and think, you know, they thought, well, these people are running it on this system, but not very well, and these people are running running it on this system, not very well. So, uh, yeah, good old Mr. Molyneux and Co. Have uh, we've made the game, I guess, more accessible for people who are playing on like lower end systems, like myself. Where I mean, I run it on a laptop, as I've mentioned before. Uh, they're not the best specs in the world. And even when it comes to, not well, even, especially when it comes to recording uh, videos, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, not just knocking on the doors. Uh, when it comes to recording videos, obviously, I need the game to be able to run smoothly while recording. Otherwise, it's going to look crap. And uh, anyway. Enough babble, let's, get, let's talk about the game a bit more. Um, as you can probably tell, the sound's got louder because we zoomed in. Uh, but like I say, there's the difference with uh, the new abodes. There's that there. The new huts are a bit different now. They've got these green roofs and, uh, and they're a different shape than before. So, uh, so yeah, the, there's uh, an, another difference in uh, in the new 2.0. I mean, uh, as viewers of my other goddess videos would know, that I am a, a pretty big fan of this. So it's it's the kind of game that I wanted to play for so long. But the thing is the way that this 2.0 uh, has improved the game it does seem to have become more of the game that I wanted to play. Um, I, I'm not sure. I mean, I went through the timeline uh, I don't think you've got the battles. I mean, if you remember, I don't. Know, if you look in my old videos, you've got there uh, these battles where you would go against AI and that. I think what it is, a lot of people didn't really want that multiplayer aspect. I mean, I know I didn't. And so, you know. Anyway, breeders in abodes will offer you belief through wor worship. Collect belief to fuel. You sculpting the god pebbles. That's supposed to be your sculpting the god pebbles. Isn't it? But anyway, so let's see if they all uh, generate belief. Uh, oh, and another one, a follow upgrade. Followers will form friendships. 
This card will give your followers the confidence to go outside and socialise. But as you can see there, it's locked and you need stickers with the speech bubbles on. So... Uh, so I can't do much more there. I've pretty much cleared as much land as I can. Ah, here we go. And... There's the belief. It's kind of like before, the old pink bubbles, and you can just like click on the uh, on the hoods. But the good thing about that means, if you remember over uh, underneath there, what I can do now, because I'm having belief, I can remove that. See, that cost, but. That doesn't. So, yeah. And there we go, that's uh, another reason. Also, trees uh, give you belief as well. So, uh, if you're running a, a bit low on belief, then just remove some trees or rocks and they will give you a little boost. As I say, kind of like before, when uh, you know you, you could do the same thing. But uh, anyway, let's click on there. What does this one say? Uh, ah, a new abode, a bigger mud cabin. Right. This one's plots one plus one breeders two. Workers plus one, uh, belief per error fourteen plus twenty two. All this kind of thing I don't really understand that much. I just now that it will give me belief and uh, and whatever. Uh, this card will unlock a new about bigger about has more followers, generate more belief, blah blah blah. So, so that's that. Uh, aha! As you can see there, it looks like. One of the followers has built uh, built up this. So if we click on that card, land expansion. Ta-da! Ta -da. And oh, 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 one only forgot. As you can see there, it, it kind of burns away like a match, and it's gone. Now that's another good thing, because if you remember before, the land expansion um, thing, the, the, the little shrines, once you had oh, uncovered that shrine and uh, and built the shrine up and got the power and whatever. That meant you no longer needed that shrine. But it would stay there. And so, you know, you would kind of end up building houses around it or whatever. Um, but let's see uh, where are we now? Uh, as you can see there, we've completed the 5000 BCE Primitive Age Establishment. Uh, we're now on this one. Um, which... Right. We need one... So, ah, I need another one. Um, to unlock that one. Right, okay. And so, if we uncover, uncover this one, ah, that gives us uh, what looked like a tools type of thing. Ah, there's, oh, let's get rid of the trees and open that chest and we get, oh, I think those are animal foods. Uh, click that. Ah, that one was... Is it unleavened bread or something? 
Oh. Because it's one of the... Uh... Oh, no, actually, that's that. Uh, okay. If, if I use stone tools on them, that will unlock that. Um, right. Oh, there we go. So now, with that one, that should unlock the the bigger about. Um, but you do need a, a bigger plot of land. So if. Uh, We fill this in here. Like so. Uh, hopefully, if I get a, a big enough plot, we should be able to build a new, bigger the boat. And once again, like the old uh, version, you need to do things before the workers decide to sort of head on over there and start building things because that could kind of spark them. Right, um, let's send builders out to start building stuff. Uh, because, like I said, the old game is kind of based around uh, getting more followers and uh, unlocking the cards and things like that. Uh, so you need more people. Follow upgrade. That increases the speed. Uh, a shrine of capacity. That means that if you build the shrine, you get one more occupant in each abode within its area. Um, then you get settlements. This is all about the expansion. Uh, you get the wood huts, a shrine of stamina. Then by 3500 BC, BCE, uh, you get the follow upgrade. Uh, you will give, give more belief on higher land. Settlement upgrade, you'll be able to sculpt a path. The settlement upgrade again, build a settlement, uh, a bigger radius. And then farming settlements, like before. So, um, then you've got this one. Now, this one, a larger bout. Now, that's something now. I mean, it says a larger bout, but the thing is. There seems to be nothing before about getting bouts. So, yeah. Uh, followers will give more belief near trees. That's kind of a way of saying stop cutting down the trees. Um, but, yeah. That, uh, I'm getting closer to 30 minutes. I'm going to kind of end it there. Um, as you can see, it takes a bit longer for for certain abouts. That's going to be one of the new abouts there. Um, but yeah, that's that's Goddess. Well, God, Goddess, Goddess two points out. Um, all I can say is thank you for watching. Uh, for those for those of you that have uh, Goddess. Hope you're enjoying the new expansion. Um, I will make another video. I mean, this has been just an introduction, but I will sort of continue playing and, you know, uh, make another 30 minute video or so for, uh, for you to see more. But for this introductory video, thank you for watching and uh, please join me next time.